Friendship, I'm Tavian Rodriguez, and this is my co-host, the ever so awesome Vincenzo Gasparro. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good, Tavian. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself, too. That's good. If you have been wondering why there are new flat screen TVs in the hallways, and here is why. The old ones were a hazard, so TVs were installed by the office and on some of the walls of the hallways around the school. Skills USA Championships took place this, this past weekend. A total of 46 students from Friendship High School, Automotive Construction Manufacturing, and Media Technology classes took part. Here are your results. Congratulations to all who competed in skills. The FHS One Act Play competed in our advancing to area. They were chosen as one of the two school district schools from our district. Very good job to all the students out there. Area will begin Saturday, April 9th at Midland Lee High School. They will be performing at 5. Speaking of acting, if you would like to take part in the last play in the school year, you don't want to miss this opportunity. Auditions will be held Monday, April 11th at 345 in the auditorium. Students must prepare one minute, a one-minute monologue for the audition. And if you cannot make, after, make the after-school audition, then see Miss... After, how, do <laughs> how do you say your name again? Athanasia. Athanasia. There you go. At FA4. So, at NA4. Four, four. FA4. <laughs> Going. Keep going. No, no, we're keeping going. Keep going. And FA4. Okay. Um, have you ever had the dream? Oh, I'm sorry. If you would like to have the miraculous chance to save a life, then go by Miss Baker in room CT6 or Miss Ferguson in room S19 to sign up for the Spring Blood Drive. It will be held Tuesday, April 12th, and Wednesday, April 13th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Tiger Pit foyer. Have you ever had a have you ever had a dream of being a mascot? Well, this yes. could be your chance. If you are interested in incoming the Tiger mascot for 2011-2012 school year, you must come by Miss Smith's room in 27W and pick up a packet before Friday, April 8th. Tryouts will be Thursday, April 14th. And congratulations to the four FHS students for being honored as the best of Texas, Ashley Holder received Outstanding Business Education Student Winner. Taylor Lowe received Outstanding Uniquely Challenged Runner-Up. Brian Matthews received Outstanding Trade and Industries Student Winner. And Aaron Wetzel received Outstanding Marketing Student Runner-Up. The, the award ceremony will be held April 18th in Austin, Texas. Congratulations to all of you. Also, there will be a band concert at FHS to support Jean, Jeans Week for Friendship Foundation for the leadership. The show will start at 7. Well, uh, well, we are going to go ahead and take a break, take a commercial break. But before we, uh, before we head to commercial break, we have a riddle for you. Vince, at, you. Uh, at night, at night they come without being fetched by day. They are lost without being stolen. What are they? I do not know what they are. Well, I'll give you the answer after the break. Okay. Here's a trivia question one more time, just in case you missed it. At night, they come without being fetched. By day, they are lost without being stolen. Did you ever figure out the answer? I did not. What is it? The stars. Oh, you know what? I should have known that because I'm in astronomy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we have great teachers here at FHS, but there is one that stands out from all the rest. Ethan Henson has more on one very great teacher, Mr. Bonacci. Ethan Henson and I have learned that Mr. Bonacci has not always been contained in these four walls. A couple summers when I was in college, I was working as a lifeguard and I got my water safety instructor certification, started giving swimming lessons to little kids and uh, I thought, well, I'm doing pretty good giving swimming lessons. Maybe I can make a teacher. When Mr. Bernacci was a lifeguard, he thought he could make a teacher. 
So he okay. went to college and majored in chemistry. The, the thing I like about chemistry and physics is they're both very analytical. And I think that teaching kids to approach problems logically, even if they're not going to be a chemist or a physicist later on. Mr. Bernacci has been teaching here at Friendship High School for 12 years. And for him, there's no turning back. For Tiger Fission News, I'm Ethan Henson. Have a good day. Thank you, Ethan, along with the great teacher we have. Great students here. Have, we have great students here. Uh, students for the month. Okay. For, for, for the freshmen is Hoi Na Fan. For sophomores, we have Kelly to, to, Tals. Huh? Tals. Tals. For junior, for the junior, she is Heather Ketched. And for seniors, Marquis Godfrey. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. <laughs> for those of you who would like to dance, Parker Merrill went on location to have a chat with Miss Smith. Parker? Hey there, Friendship. I'm Parker Merrill, and I'm here with Miss Smith. How are you doing today, Miss Smith? I'm good. That's good. So you guys have Dance Recital coming up. Can you tell me a little more about that? What is Dance Recital? Yes. Well, Dance Recital is coming up on Monday. Mm -hmm. It starts at 730 at the middle school. And it is um, a time for all of my dance classes to show what they've been working on all year long. It's, um, it's a time when their parents and their friends and family can come out and they all each prepare their own dances and have their own costumes. And it creates just a nice show to watch and really shows the parents what talents they've learned. So really it's just, it's a showcase of what your students have learned over the year. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So when do y'all start preparing for dance recital? Well, from the very, probably the second week of school, we start working on technique that'll be used in the recital dance, and they learn different types of combinations that teach them how to move together as a class and how to change formations. We really start working on the specific piece for recital in January. And so from the beginning of the second semester, we start working on the pieces and, and get formations together and figure out what we're gonna wear. So really, it's a year-round process trying to get your students to that point where they are ready to perform for the yes. their parents and people yes, like that? Yes, exactly. That's awesome. So you also have palm tryouts coming up. Can you tell us a little yes. more about that? Yes, I can. Um, palm tryouts, we actually get a week's break. <laughs> and then palm tryouts start on um, April 18th. We'll start with a clinic on Monday. And they actually have um, a preliminary audition in front of judges on Tuesday the 19th. And then they practice, those that make the cut, practice a dance on Wednesday, and then come in and do a final audition on Friday, April 21st. So who can try out for Palm? Um, actually, we've opened it up this year to incoming freshmen. And so anyone that's going to be a student at Friendship High School next year that's going to be a freshman through a senior can try out for Palm Squad. And we've also added a JV squad that is also um, also consists of freshmen through seniors. So you could actually have a freshman on varsity or a senior on JV. It just depends on how it all falls. Well, thank you, Ms. Smith, for joining us today. Back to you guys. Thanks for that, Parker. It's been pretty cold the last couple of days. Will we see warm temperatures in the next few days? Austin Weidman has more with the weather. Hello, Friendship High School. I am Austin Weidman with your weather forecast for the next week. Today there will be a high of 83 and a low of 48 degrees, following tomorrow with a high of 85 and a low of 52. On Saturday it will be a gorgeous day with a high of 84 and a low of 44 degrees. And then following Sunday with a high of 72 and a low of 39. Coming back Monday to school there will be a high of 84 and a low of 45. Thank you Friendship for tuning in to your weather forecast. Back to you guys at the desk. Go, go. Well, thanks for that Austin. Stay tuned after the break for all your tire sports with all your tire sports with Elena Husco. Don't go away. What's up Friendship High School? I'm Elena Husco and today is a great day for filling you in on your latest tiger sports. Let's get started with baseball. Friday varsity will be playing Dumas at 5. Saturday, Saturday ninth grade DH baseball will be playing at Cooper at 1 and ninth grade SS baseball will be at Dumas at noon. JV will, be, will play at Dumas at noon, so go out and support our baseball teams. Moving over to softball, the JV gold team will play Coronado at 4.30 on Friday, and they will also play Hereford at noon. JV blue will play Randall at 4.30 and Varsity at 6.30. Heading over to the tennis court, tennis will play 
at Amarillo District Friday and Saturday. So go and check them out. Ba basketball camp is right around the corner. Girls basketball May Girls basketball is May 31st through to June 3rd for incoming second and sixth graders. They will attend eight. They will attend from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The incoming seventh through ninth graders will go from 12 to 4 p.m. Boys basketball camp will be from June 6th to June 9th for incoming 2nd through 5th graders. They will attend from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The incoming 6th through 9th graders will go from 12 to 4 p.m. The camp cost is $80, but all Friendship employees are allowed to bring their children for, your, for $50 to help cover the camp t-shirt and camp ball costs. If you have any questions, please email jdeer at friendship.us for boys basketball, 806-866-9336, extension 212, or T. Lowry at friendship.us for girls basketball at 806-866-9336, extension 211. Well, thank you, Lena. Are you all going to any of the games? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. That ought to be fun. So, um, well, that's all we have for today for Vince, Tavian, I'm Lena. Have a great day, friendship. <laughs>